Casey, what's been the hardest part about this this whole thing that started back in October? Uh, no, no, nothing, nothing too hard. Just uh, for me personally, just uh, just the fact of being away from from what I what I love doing, uh, playing football, and being away from my teammates and friends. But uh, other than that, it's been a smooth transition transition coming back. How Casey, are you different now than you were a year ago at this time, Casey. Uh, I, I've matured a lot. Uh, every, everything that's happened has really humbled me and, and helped me out as far as my mentality. So uh, every, everything that's happened happened for a reason, and I, I understand that now. And uh, I'm, I'm actually very grateful for it now. What did you tell your, uh, your fellow teammates when you came back to the team? Uh, initially, I, I didn't say too much. I mean, uh, but at the same time, I, I could tell like by the look in their eyes that they didn't have too much judgment. But I, I knew at the same time that I, I had let them down. But also, um, coming, coming back, it, it wasn't too much what I needed to say. It was what I needed to do. And uh, fr from that point on, it, it was just a, a mentality that I had to have on and off the field. Uh, to, to prove to them that, that they could trust me and, and uh, I could be their leader. Casey, when you left in October last year, were you ready to get away from here? Did you realize it yourself that you needed needed to get some help, or was it a, a, a agonizing decision to leave in the middle of the season? Well, uh, well, of course, whenever because of how much I love football, it's not easy just to leave. But it, it, was, it was something that uh, me and Coach P and, the, and everybody else decided was best for me. And uh, we just made the proper steps to, to make that happen. Did you ever think about transferring or maybe declaring for the NFL early? No, uh, no none, of, none of that even crossed my mind because uh, unless I got myself right uh, in, within the proper steps, another school or even the NFL definitely wasn't gonna def definitely wasn't gonna take a chance on me. So I knew that before anything else, before I worried about football ever again, I just needed to focus on myself at the time. How important was getting back here now to you through the process? Uh, get, get, getting back to here uh, was, was just something that, that, that came along. Uh, just as, as I went through the process of everything that I went through, uh, everything just fell in the line to where it needed to. Uh, I, I, didn't, I didn't like reach out or like extend and try to, to plead or like seem desperate to come back or something. But at the same time, uh, everything that I did was a part of a plan and need, uh, needed to be done. Casey, okay, how difficult was it to watch the rest of the season play out after you lost the team? Oh, it, it, it was pretty tough. Uh, watching those games on Saturday wasn't easy at all. Sometimes I couldn't even watch them uh, just because uh, See, seeing at times, seeing my team struggle, and seeing them uh, like I, I know the feeling of losing, and it's not good. And just the feeling of how it felt in the locker room a few years ago when we would lose, and how they would probably be feeling after that. It, it, none of that was easy. When this decision was made in October, did you have any sense that you might not ever play football again, or did you get a sense, or was that a driving force for you? Um, it, it was unclear at the time, but also. Uh, it, it, it was kind of like a little bit of motivation and things that if I were to get myself right, then I possibly have, possibly have a chance to come back and do the things I need to. Casey, obviously there's going to be a lot of skeptics out there saying you're getting another chance. A lot of guys, you know, haven't done anything wrong and might not get a chance. What, what do you say to those people about that might be skeptical about you getting a second chance like this? Uh, honestly, anything any of them have to say is their opinion and they're entitled to that. Um, I'm doing what, what everything that's set forth for me, and I'm going to keep doing that. And no matter what anybody has to say, negative, positive, um, I, I can only control myself and control what I do, and that's what's going to keep me going forward. You feel like you got more to prove to yourself than anybody else? Uh, I don't. I don't feel I have too much to prove to anybody. That I, I feel like for me and my teammates. It's all about each game of the season and, and, and winning each one of those. So it, it's nothing to prove to anybody else. I mean, that may come along with it, that they may seem like I'm, I'm proving something, but I really, I'm, I'm just wanting to line up on that field and uh, play with my teammates and friends. Yeah, did you reflect back on everything that's happened the last year and a half? 
Say that again. When, when you reflect back on everything that's happened in the last year, can you pinpoint maybe where you got off track and how hard has it been to stay on track you know, since, you, since you've been back? Uh, I'm not going to go into any specifics with that, but uh, so far coming back, just getting on track, basically it, it's just uh, having the right mentality coming forth and doing the things that everyone has set, set aside, set forth for me. Uh, to make sure I do the right things, and also uh, how I act on and off the field that is going to lead to uh, future things. Casey, uh, I'd like to commend you on your courage coming out here today. And as Coach Carson said, you, you offered to come out here and talk. I think that's uh, very commendable. Uh, you also have talked about how you're glad this happened to you now and that you've matured. Do you see this as an opportunity that you're the change, Casey, that you're going to be able to lead and be able to possibly mentor some of these young guys coming in from high school and have them avoid some of the things that, that you've been through that you can help the squad in that way? Yeah, absolutely. Like if if, if anyone if anyone were to be struggling at any point, uh, I'm more more than happy to, to give them a little piece of advice or anything I can do to help them out to make sure that they don't fall off the bandwagon or anything like that. Because I know that sometimes uh, a lot of us, with, with all the stress of all all of this stuff, uh, that it, it it can it can get a little little intense, uh, and that's where like from the things I've been through, I, I can just give a little bit of advice, but that's all I can do, and the rest is up to them. But uh, other than that, uh, it, it, every everything has uh, worked out pretty well. Casey, was there a what moment? Kind of fight do you think you're in the next month to get your spot back? Uh, right. The, with that, it, it, none of it is, I know it's none of my decision. All, the only thing I can control is how I perform on the field, in practice, all through two days, and then how I uh, conduct myself off the field. Um, I, I can't stress out about it or I can't worry about trying to get my spot back or anything like that. All I can do is know that uh, at the end of each day that I put forth 100% and do everything I could for myself and for my teammates, and the rest will fall into place. Where do you I'm think you are football? Guys, we got the others waiting. Where do you think you are football wise compared to where you were at the beginning of last season when you were off to a good start? Uh, I feel I, I feel a lot better now. I feel uh, as far as when it comes to uh, watching film, preparing, uh, and the mentality of, of how I am on the field is is a lot better than it was even a year ago. Um, as far as on the field, uh, I've, in a way, I feel like I haven't lost a step at all. But I, I, have, to, I have to keep progressing no matter where I feel I'm at. Uh, there's always room to improve. Casey, was there a moment when you were in treatment that you realized that you made the best decision for you? Uh, did it did it come to you like that, like a moment of clarity? Or, uh, did, or did you struggle with it the entire time that you were away from the team? Well, yeah, I struggled with that aspect, being away from the team the whole time. But also, like, after about a week or two, I, I did have that little moment of clarity and realized that I was screwing everything up, and it, and it was completely my fault that I'm in the situation I'm in, and uh, that and who all I have let down, and hearing what what happened with like with me and my family, like having them there to support me and stuff, really really helped uh, change my perspective of everything. Casey, okay, so just real quick, just, guys. you said you were in treatment. Gary was kind of, when he talked about it back in October, we were never sure what you were in treatment for. Can you share with us what that exactly was for? Uh, I'll just say alcohol, but that, that's the most detail I'm going to get into.